I have no idea why it's taken me so long. I didn't realise until this week that I didn't have a bank reconciliation video. So here it is, the amazing bank wreck in zero. If you haven't checked it out already, let's go and take a look. Okay, here's where part of the magic with zero starts. This takes a bit of getting used to, but once you get used to reconciling your bank account, you will absolutely love it. So what we've done, we've set up our bank accounts and we've got our bank account linked to zero. So what that means is that our bank transactions are now pulled into zero. When you log into zero and you go to your dashboard, you're going to see a blue box telling you that you've got transactions to reconcile. So what that means is there are transactions on your bank and you have to deal with them in zero. So what we want to do is we want to click on this reconcile. Ignore the fact it says get bank feeds, that's because I'm using a demo. If you've got your bank feeds set up, you would not see that comment. So let's look at this screen and it's split in two. On the left hand side, this is the information that's came from your bank account into zero. Spent items and received items. So what we can see is you've spent some money and it's gone to Colin, who we might remember is the computer geek, and it's £120. Now when we look at the right hand side, this is where we deal with the transaction in zero. So what Zero's done is Zero has looked at that spend money for £120 and it's gone and found an invoice. So Zero thinks, which is very smart, that when you spent that £120 you were paying Colin the computer geek. So Zero has matched that payment to an invoice and that's why it's in green because Zero has made a match. And all that you need to do, you do need to be careful, but you need to look at this and see that you're happy with it. And if you're happy with it, all that you do is click on OK and that ties that payment in to that invoice. Second transaction, and here we've got Andy, our awesome accountant, and we've spent £600. The same thing has happened here. Zero has gone looking and found an invoice for £600 and Zero has made a suggestion that you want to match that and you just click on OK. So anything green at the right hand side, Zero has attempted to match it. The third transaction we've got, and this time we've received some money. Now you might recall that we created a sales invoice for Joe Bloggs, and Joe Bloggs has paid us some money. Zero doesn't match this. Now the reason is because Zero will only go looking for one invoice for £720 and Zero hasn't found that. But that's okay. We can help match it. If we go over to the right hand side, we click on find and match. And then we're looking for what Joe Bloggs might have paid us. We can scroll down. Depends how many transactions you have here, if that's easy or difficult to do. Or and you can actually see Joe Blogs, you can use the search. So you could go into the search box and key in Joe Blogs, click on go, and Zero finds them. So there you can see Joe Blogs has paid us two invoices. That's why Zero couldn't match it, but we went to find and match. We found the invoices that have been paid, and all that we do is select them. And if we scroll down, we see if we've an option to say OK, but if we scroll down, we can see that Zero has matched it. Now I'm just going to untick one of them, and you'll see that in red it says it's out by £120. When we tick the £120, we're now matched. So we can click on the green reconcile, or up at the top we can click on the OK, it does the same thing. So that was a little bit harder, but still pretty straightforward. And then what we might have is we might have transactions in zero that there isn't anything to match. We've made a payment and it's for parking, so we might have to create a transaction. So on the right hand side, it's not green. We couldn't find a match. We're going to create a bank transaction. So we're just going to say that this payment was to Aberdeen City Council. What's it for? This is where we want to code it. We're going to choose the travel code and then we're just going to say parking. 
Now, if we had an invoice for this transaction, we would want the purchase invoice to be in zero. We wouldn't want to create a transaction. But the chances are you're not going to have an invoice if it's only for parking. You might just have a little parking receipt. So we're happy to enter that as a bank transaction and we're going to select OK. Now we get this, this lovely message telling us that that's our bank account balanced. And all that we want to do is we want to double check that this balance is correct. It agrees to our bank. And if it's correct, we are happy. Job done. As always, if you like my videos, please let me know that you like them. And why don't you subscribe to the channel so you get notified when new videos are uploaded each week. Until next time, happy zeroing.